aside, this video is an unboxing and review of the Lug Pro acoustic guitar. Originally designed for kids, but playable by any beginner, I've heard. I started checking out the Lug guitars because I teach kids to play music and I wanted to see how they handle this particular instrument. Now, I was so thrilled by the Lug Mini that I asked Lug if they could give a, a discount code for the students in my program. Uh, and not only that, but they were also generous enough to allow me to use it with you, my YouTube subscribers. So, uh, in the description, you'll see a 10% discount code if you decide that this is good for you. But like I've said, I've never played a pro before, so let's see if it's any good. All right, I'm excited. Uh, FedEx says it's here. I was very fast shipping and took a little over a week. And here's what we're looking at, folks. This is the Lug Pro Acoustic. Uh, also, all their guitars, as far as I know, come with the, um, these flashcards that teach you chords. So any guitar that comes in the mail should have the strings all the way loose to protect it. Let's tune it. Now, even before I do my final round of tuning, uh, I like to do a trick that I learned when I was like a teenager. I've been doing it ever since. I pull on the strings just a little bit to stretch them out so that it will stay in tune longer once I finally get it in tune. Now, I don't pull really hard. I'm not like lifting the guitar up, although with this one, you probably could. Final round. If you do decide to get a Lug, I highly recommend you pick up a strap while you're on the website. They, they work really well for kids, but it, it's just long enough that I can use it too. Uh, they come in cool colors, they're well made. So, let's check this thing out. You ready? Interesting, it's, a, it's almost got like a dulcimer kind of sound. It's, it's like a, if you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a folk instrument from the mountains. Let's try some scales. So pretty cool, and just like the Lug Mini, uh, it's very ergonomic, it's easy to press the strings down for me or for small hands or a child who is just new to music. This is much better than most guitars that you're gonna see. Uh, in addition to the three strings making it a lot easier to learn, now this guitar has steel strings, so it's a tiny bit harder to press down than on the Lug Mini, which is the smaller size designed for kids slightly younger. So, so far uh, it's had no trouble holding its tune and I've been playing this for about 20 minutes. I'm, I mean, the video is a lot shorter. Let's just take a look, see if there's anything unusual. All right, so everything seems sturdy. I'm not like blown away or unimpressed. I mean, it, it's, it's what I would expect for a, a kid's or beginner's instrument. So let me just do a little check, make sure all of my notes are working so that. Yeah, no fret buzz anywhere. I, all the notes are nice and clear. It's nice, it's holding in tune. Uh, it's, it plays really well. I can totally play uh, just about any song that I want with uh, simple versions of chords. You can't always get what you want. Unless what you want's a really well-made kid's guitar. Now there is a new instrument that Lug has come out with really recently. In fact, it's just on Kickstarter as of the time of this filming, but it's gonna be available in November, apparently, of 2020. So it's an electric version of this guitar. Now they've done some innovating and what they'll do is put an amplifier inside the guitar with a knob here, you can just turn it on. Uh, if you don't know what that means, uh, I'll show you a quick clip of what that would sound like. <laughs> the new Lug Electric will have that sound built into it so you can just turn it on. Now, I, I wanna get one of those because I'm really curious. In, in fact, that's the guitar I'm going to have most of my students buy because a lot of kids like that sort of heavy, crunchy electric sound and I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to press down the strings. This guitar is nice and loud on its own. I can get plenty of volume so if I'm camping or on a trip or if I travel, or if I live in a cabin or somewhere that I don't want to uh, you know, worry about batteries for my electric guitars and stuff, I wanna be a little bit more low tech, uh, this would be a great option. Uh, for adults, I think there's, there's better options for learning. Um, I think they might get a little bit tired of the sound. Whew. So a quick scenery change here. Now, I wanted this video to be as useful as possible to you before I made it go live. So I brought this guitar to a bunch of my music students last week. Uh, kids between four and 10 years old, I let them try it. Uh, here's the verdict. Uh, they all love it. They think it's cool looking. They think it sounds good. Most of them can play it pretty well. But um, kids under, really under eight years old, they're gonna have a harder time pressing that down. 
So I don't think it would be a great first instrument for a kid under seven. Uh, even for kids who like like the heavier sound of guitars, like the rock sound, uh, I would gravitate towards the Lug Electric for them. And if any of this has been useful to you so far, please hit that like button so I know people are seeing it. And you can contact me if you have any questions through any of my social media in my description. So I'm a guitar geek. I played it a lot over the last week also to see if anything else came up. I noticed two things. One of them is that right out of the box, it had a bit of a chemical-y smell, which wasn't really pleasant. I figured it would go away in a couple days. It's definitely almost gone. Uh, I emailed Lug about it to see if there's anything else they can do. So it will have that for at least a couple days. At least mine did. I don't know what yours would be like. But uh, yeah, just be aware of it so you're not surprised by that. Uh, second, doing a string bend, which is sort of an advanced rock and roll thing that kids are not really going to do, at least for a couple years. Uh, it doesn't sound as good in that guitar because the frets aren't especially smooth. Um, but for kids learning, they're not going to do that anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, that's all for now. My name is Ben Brill. Thank you for being with me today. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos about instrument reviews for kids and also a lot of educational, fun puppetry and just good stuff that is going to help kids get inspired creatively and learn music at home. All right, see you next time. Mm -hmm.